Hello guys, what's up? Sean here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a banner in Cinema 4D and Photoshop. So what you'll need is Cinema 4D of course and the rig I have for it which I'll put a link in the description and Adam K's graphics pack which I've already made a video on which will also be in the description to a link to that YouTube video. So first off we're going to open Cinema 4D and we're going to go to our content browser just let that load. Let's give that a second. Alright, and then we're going to open the rig, double click that, and it'll put our rig there. So I'm just going to turn the camera so I can see him. Oh. Oh yeah, and by the end of it, you'll have something looking like uh, you have something looking like this, which I will show you how to do. It's a YouTube banner also. Uh, so first off, we're going to click on this, click on your rig, your character, go to 5.0 options. You're gonna have to download your skin also, convert it to 1.8. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly put my skin on it. I'm assuming you guys already have your skin. If you don't, I'll uh, put a link in the description where to get your skin from. So, mm, uh, there's my skin. And then I'm going to scroll down a bit more to turn off the right eyes, turn off the owls, the mouth, uh, owls, mouth uh, pupils, eyebrows, and teeth. Then, if you go to render, it will just look like your skin. And then the next thing we're going to do, which I should have done at the beginning, is the render settings. So, we're going to do 1920 by 1080 for the width by the height and output. Then we're going to go to anti analyzing, turn this to best, put this to 4x4x4 four by four by four and this to 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. If you don't have 4x4x4, four by four, four by four, you can do 1x1x1x2x2x2 one by one by one by two by two by two or it just goes like that. And then we're going to go to effect, ambient occlusion. We're going to tick these two boxes at the bottom here, evaluate transparency and self shadowing only. We're going to go to effect again and click on global illumination. We're going to go to up here in irradiance cache. And we're going to go to oversampling and put it to medium. We're also going to go to effect again and go to glow. And I preferably have this on 4 to 5%. I'm going to have it on the size on 5% right now. And now if we render it, you will not see yourself because we have. Um, we need to add a light, so if you go hold, hold down on this light button and go to infinite light, just uh, you can put this anywhere you want, I just like to have it roughly here. Then if you get the rotate tool and just move this, if you just if I look here you see your shoulders, if you just move it up and down you can see the shadow. So I like to have it a bit of shadow but not too much. So if I now render that out like a little bit, you can see that it renders out your character. Also, you can also see the glow there. If I show you again, after it's rendered it, all your whole your whole screen out, will add the glow afterwards. There you go. You can see the glow of the character. I'm also gonna add a sky. So create. You go to create environment and sky. Um, you're gonna double click to create a new mat. I'm gonna tick off specular. Um, and in color, we're going to change the texture to uh, gradient right there. And then we're going to click on this massive colored box here. And we're going to put this to a lightest yellow. And then we put the other end to an even lighter yellow. Just like that. You can copy the colors for that if you want. And then we're just going to drag that under our sky. And then if we render that out. Uh, give it more of a glow as you will see in a second here there you go it's giving it more of a glow so now if we go on to actually modeling your character so with this rig if you just click at his finger there you see these blue bars you just click them and if you move this up four if you see the Y down here you just put four enter same on the other side you just put four and then we get our rotate tool and turn this 90 degrees 
I can just edit it down here again. So this side is minus 90, and this side, oh, this side will be 90. And that's that. And then if we get the feet, if we turn the camera a little bit, I'm gonna make the feet look a bit realistic. If we just move these out a little bit and forward. Oh, actually, let's get his legs. Let's get the waist and just pull that down a little bit to about minus four. Then move that forward and out. And then move this out and back. Something like that. And then I think these are too far. Like out. Okay, and then if we render that like that, just get a few preview of what it looks like. I think that looks fine from here. And then if you go to render settings and go to save, uh, and then go to change the format to PNG right here, tick alpha channel, and choose your save location. I'm gonna go to my desktop and just type in Render, save, X this, and then click the middle button here and it'll start rendering it. I'm gonna speed this bit up while it renders it. Alright guys, so now mine's already done rendering, so I'm going to X out of this, and I'm going to create a new, I'm going to start a new one, and this time I'm going to create the text for the banner, so we're going to go to MoGraph, MoText, I'm going to turn the camera around so we can see the text, I'm going to change the font to say, I'll just make it say my in-game name right there, you can make your say your YouTube name, Actually, I'm going to make this say tutorial right there. I'm going to also change the text to a font that I have downloaded called Ob Obelix Pro. You can download it off the font. And we're also going to create two colors for this, so double click, double click. This is going to be the white, so just turn that off. Go to color up here, just put it all into white. And this is going to be like a light blue. So go here, change that colour, go to uh, light bluish, and then we're going to click on this. That for this one is going to be a hundred. So we're going to Control C, click on Mode Text, Control C, Control V, click on Mode Text One, change this to eighty. Go to Caps, change Start and End to Fillet Caps, and Fillet Type, change that to One Step, and then look above it. And then you got to try and put this in the middle. Yep. Seems about right. And then get your white map. Put it on Motex 1. Then the blue one. Put it on Motex. Oh no, wait. The white one on Motex and blue on Motex 1. And then you get something that's looking like that. And then you can go to render settings you can render this again in 1920 by 180 and then just alpha channel tick png again and then save it desktop i'm going to go call this logo okay so then we click the middle button oh camera angle's a bit wrong there we go yes Alright, so now I'm going to meet you on Photoshop with the Adam K's V2 pack open. Okay, so now I'm back in Adam K's V2 pack. So what we're going to do is go to file. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to get the YouTube dimension. So in Adam K's pack that I provided in the link, you go to 
social network layouts and click on YouTube background and bra brackets Adam K and open that. Okay, so now you have. Ooh, I've already. Uh, this is the banner that you'll be making. Similar to it. I'm just going to delete everything with it so I can show you how to do it. So it should look like this all the rulers and the grey backgrounds, etc. So what we're going to do is. And so what we're going to do, we're going to get our render here, drag that into Photoshop, right click, duplicate layer and go drag, pull it in your YouTube background, click OK and it already converted it to here. So now we control T, make it as small as you like, I like to do it roughly about there. And then we're also going to get our logo here. There it is, tutorial logo, right click, duplicate layer. Also going to go and put that into YouTube background. Control T that and then make that smaller again. Just put that, oh, that was my bad. And put that in front here, center that a bit. There we go. And then we're also going to go to Adam Case Pack V2 and we're going to go to the folder called Microsoft Screenshots and then you can choose one, Nature or Servers. I generally go to servers and look for, untick this message and then look for one that you think will look good. I, uh, I'll choose, let's, I'll choose this one. So what you do is right click, duplicate layer and get document, go to your one, which is my YouTube background and then it'll be here. All you got to do is control T, make it a bit smaller. And put it below everything also before you do anything so you can see everything what I like to do is because you can only see what's in this rectangle box so you like to put the image in the right space okay so after that's done we're going to go back into Adam K's pack right here I'm going to go to renders animals and you can choose any animals you want I'll do a pig with a helmet right click duplicate layer and then put it in your one and then control T on that make it a bit smaller not too small obviously put that there and then I'm gonna get another one I'm gonna use the panda again as I did in the other banner duplicate layer YouTube background Control T, shift while you make them smaller by the way, and then just make that as small as you like. I think there seems reasonable. And then we're going to go to Adam K's pack, X out of all these. And we're going to unsee that, put them back up there. And we're going to right click the color corrections, duplicate group and put that in our YouTube one for the color corrections and then open that folder here and then you can choose what one you want uh, I think I'll go for hmm. I'll go for the I'll go for the dark look here and then also we can go to Adam Case pack and go to shapes glowing shapes and get triangles here duplicate YouTube um, and then just make that smaller go click the C button on that and then just make that fit the screen And then afterwards, what you can do to get rid of all the excess background to just see the middle, you can get your rectangular marquee, marquee tool and then highlight that area, get your rubber and start rubbing it all out. You can also get the paint bucket I believe and make that black and then get the rubber, put it decently high not too high obviously and then 
My bad. And then yeah, you can get your rubber, and then get rid of all these, and then go to the bottom half, get your rubber again, get rid of all these triangles, just so you can see the ones in the banner, and press Ctrl D to get rid of them rectangular outlines. And that is how you do your banner. You can also go back to the MK's pack and add some flares. If you really if you want some flares, I'll add some now. Let me just find some. Um, I'll add. Let me see. Actually, now go to particles and choose some particles you might want. I'll add these. So duplicate layer. YouTube background. Um. And then just make that fit to screen. You can do the marquee tool again. And get the rubber. Just click OK on that and get rid of all the particles from that side. And then go to the bottom half and get the rubber again. Get rid of everything down here. Control D. And there you have your banner. You just press File, Save As. Choose where you want to save it. Make sure it's saved as a PNG uh, right here, and then just name it. Uh, I'm gonna name it Banner. Save. And then if you just click OK there, and where is it? Here it is. Then if you just open that, there's your banner. If you upload that to YouTube, you would only see the things that are actually in the dimension. So. That's how you make a banner. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And